Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Ajian and these are some of the top stories we have for you tonight. The Boys and Girls Club gives a helping hand. And WSVI checks in with SIGA Promotions and your entertainment report. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. story tonight the festival is in full swing and the boys and girls club are lending a helping hand glenn drake checks in the theme for this year's festival is see it and believe it for 2009 2010 i'm here with julie langino for uh, the director for the boys and girls club for the virgin islands and 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 you got the holiday spirit you're doing something that's never done before well, you know, Glenn, we, we have some salaried employees, and I'm like, hey, we have to go to work. We have to continue to maintain our facilities and work and clean up, but there's only so much cleanup you can do. So it's like, how can we make some extra money for the club? And so we decided to, instead of doing a food booth and instead of doing the traditional stuff, we said, well, hey, we specialize in daycare. We specialize in serving children. So why don't we do what we specialize in? So we're opening up the Frederick said unit, trying to take advantage of the crowd for the for the festivity festivities that are going on down in Frederick said. So we're open up January the 2nd from nine to six as a daycare. Now it's going to be a structured daycare where we have activities, arts, games, computer games, indoor games, outdoor games, and really do some quality things for children. Parents can drop their children off for $10 an hour or they can pre-register for the whole day or for hourly rates at $8 an hour. So we do, if you can pre-register, that would help us out so we kind of, we can plan better. But if you just, we'll be there so you can drop off your children. And then we're going to open up January 4th through the 8th for a holiday camp. Many schools don't start back until January 11th. So we said, let's take advantage and see if we get open to the general population. And it really is a fundraiser. There is a fee, but we feel like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fair fee for what we're gonna offer children. Now, I'm a, I'm a product of the Boys and Girls Club. It used to be the Boys Club back then. Yes, it was. But most most Boys and Girls Club started off as a Boys Club. Uh, you, you just took over as director, what, a couple years now? Actually, a year and a half. A year and a half, and it's 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 an honor to do this, and it's a great. I love my job. I don't feel like it's a job. I feel like we're on a mission. We have great plans. My goal is that we create uh, 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 activities and programs from seven in the morning till nine at night. We want to do from seven to two, maybe some GED program to open up for maybe some of the dropout kids, and then from two to six is our traditional after school programming, and then we want to open up our teen centers from six to nine because that's really a segment of community that I, the community that I think really needs to be served. And so we have great plans for doing that. Um, and you'll hear a lot about that in 2010. Yeah, because um, you know, what, what, there's a lot going on with our teens today from violence to teenage pregnancy to uh, underage drinking. There's so many different negative things that's happening right now. We don't have enough community uh, agencies. It used to be the government, that's, they, they can't take on the responsibility anymore. So you guys are put well, you know, the, the, the other thing is let's focus on the good kids because the good kids will set the example. And I promise you, with love and with, with some good boundary systems and expectations, the, the greater you expect from children, the, the more they ex, they'll, they'll exceed those expectations. So I'm about high expectations, low tolerance. But really, it's about let's bring in the good kids and let them set the example. And we'll, we'll, we can make some impact and make some changes. Well, we're partner with you and, and, and the audience will... We'll keep everybody informed here at, at News Channel 8 uh, what's going on with the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, once again, anybody who's interested in the uh, mini camp? Absolutely. They can call us. We would love for you to pre-register either our Christian State Club or our Frederick State Club, and they can call at 778-8990. That's our Christian State Club. And our Frederick State Club is 772-3110. 772-3110. Thank you. And you have our support for the new year and all your Excellent. endeavors. Well, we need it, and we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thanks, Glenn Drake. And with the new year upon us, Jamila Russell gives us her insight about New Year's on the bottom line. Good night and welcome to another edition of The Bottom Line. I am Jamila Russell. Oh, what a year 2009 has been. 
As we get ready to say goodbye to 2009 and welcome 2010, we should all reflect on the good, the bad, and the ugly and try to turn negative into positive this 2010. In this edition, I will talk of some of the traditions and customs we celebrate and the reason behind of them. Traditionally, New Year's Eve, or as we call it, All Year's Night, is spent in church. Services commence on the old year and last well into the new year. This is a time to give thanks for the outgoing year and all its blessings and to pray for divine favor in the upcoming year. I am not 100% sure, but this tradition may be traced back to the New Year's Eve of 1862 when it, when it is said that the slaves waited up all night in anticipation of January 1st, 1863, which was the effective date of the Emancipation Proclamation. This idea of making deafening noise is to drive away the evil spirits that flock to the living on the, with the wailing of the horns, the ringing of the bells, and the beating of the drums. Traditionally, it is thought that the first day of the year is symptomatic of what the new year will bring. Therefore, we try to spend the first day of the new year in the best way possible, with the good company of friends and family, and we eat the foods that is supposed to bring good luck in the upcoming year. My favorite custom by far is that of the New Year's resolution. Most of us resolve to turn over a new leaf and make changes in our life for the new year. Every year, I resolve to exercise regularly. And like most of you, by week two of the new year, this resolution is out the window, out the door, on the wayside, by the curb. The bottom line is, no matter how we ring in the new year, or what tradition or customs we practice, we should rejoice in the fact that another year has passed and we are still here. There is hope for a better tomorrow. Calvin Coolidge said, and I quote, Nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Talent will not. Nothing is more common than unsuccessful people with talent. Genius will not. Unrewarded genius is almost a proverb. Education will not. The world is full of educated derelicts. Persistence and determination alone are omnipotent. The slogan, press on, has solved many and will always solve the problems of the human race. Happy New Year's and press on. This has been Jamila Russell. Tune in Monday for another edition of The Bottom